and the pass is not thrown, and then the whole play gets broken up. I mean, he does those kind of things that aren't always uh, worthy of any kind of measurement in terms of number. Well, they put the size. Kamara, the rookie out of Dayton at six foot eight on Halliburton. Obi Toppin, the former Dayton Flyer, starts with a three-point field goal. That's a big, but he's somebody we'll keep an eye on as they play that pick and roll on the offensive end. Came over in the trade from the Phoenix Suns, and he puts Portland on the board. Not letting Malcolm Brogdon get the ball. They got a mismatch with Brogdon if they can get it over here. And all of a sudden, Halliburton, well, Halliburton was trying to get it over there. But then Kamara goes down, and Halliburton is wide open at the, at the three-point line, and he drilled it. That's the second straight game. He's made a defender fall down and then bury a three. Sharp to the basket on a pass from Brogdon. Mount open. There you go. No look. Yeah, I say no look. Fans were ready to cheer on that one. That would have been a timeout for Portland. Sharp hits the three. Stayed in really good position. Ah, good basketball there. Good basketball recognition. Brown pushes and um, Matisse Thibel. Thibel, matter of fact, two years ago, not last year, the year before, and the year before that was his all NBA uh, second team. In the corner to Smith. Good cut. cut. And how about the pass by Smith? Don't stand when your teammate's in trouble. But taking a dribble to get there is just not what he normally does. And Aiton again. Well, he's got that mid-range shot going. Say, he's, he's got it going. He's got 10. In the post is Smith. He goes to work. Ducks inside with a strong move. It really was a strong move because on the inside. Lenhart hit 13 points, four assists off the bench on Friday night. Leaves it off for Smith, and Smith lays it in. Excuse me, excuse him, Wassa. Oh, what? At Potpourri, he has 12 in the first quarter, and that bounces in a three for Malcolm Brogdon. And I think this is actually he's not a bad defensive player. And there's a three. Reef. That's Reef. Reed has already hit a three out there. Brogdon as well. He likes to go left. Yeah, he likes to go left. So he's missed half of the season thus far. There's Brogdon again. Madden's trying not to pick up. They call him timeout because Madden didn't want to pick up his third foul. Yeah, and you can hear him push. Halliburton out there. Attack it. Attack it. And it goes in by Mavs. Get past Toppin. You gotta keep it. You gotta keep it. She's gonna do something. And Turner got it. Very good job. On the plant. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it, it, it really is. So the, the, where you're, you, you've got to figure out how to be more efficient. Brown for three. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't because otherwise you're gonna get a, a shot that was wide open. And Brogdon, he uses his body so well, doesn't he? He really does. Halliburton beats Walker, count it, and a foul. But he's historically a good Jeremy Grant has come back in for Portland, raises up, and his jumper is good. Yeah, yeah, I, I can only tell you, he is. And it's totally flipped around. Portland had shot one free throw in the first quarter. They've shot 10 here in the second. Brown takes eight inside and got the roll. Yeah. Of what we saw on Friday night, the Pacers trailed Detroit at the half on Friday night. In fact, they had to use that 32 to seven run late and there's Henderson for three. He shoots a poor percentage, but he's not afraid to shoot. Brown. <laughs> if he goes left, he just does. But he is a speech to going right. Two seconds, one second. And a three made by Kamara. He had made a shot 
This is a hard game, but you got to concentrate through it to all of the things that, uh, you know, Lloyd Perry was, um, Lloyd Price, Lloyd Pierce, Lloyd Price, Lloyd Pierce was talking about. The Pacers have struggled a little bit at home. This is home game number 11. They're six and four. Here's Eald scores. He's got nine. Seven of 12 from the field, 17 for Malcolm Brogdon. Comes in the last three, averaging 19. Are they going to count it? They've got to count it. Tonight, the 99th meeting between these two teams in the 50th here in Indianapolis. Oh, oh yeah. Toppin. Nice job by Toppin. He originally came out. They switched 6 7 to 6 7 on Great shot. Just going underneath. Malcolm Brogdon. They now turn on the bench, and Portland will shoot the penalty the rest of the way. Brogdon comes off the screen, and his little teardrop is good. Cut off by Neesmith, who's in. Nice job. They shut him off very well. This is going to be a tough cover, though. That's a tough cover. That guy's 6'9", but TJ was trying to cover. Gets inside again. Left that short. Jackson the rebound. Pacers on the run. Great pass. Ball never hit the ground again. That time, McConnell got it up. Our officials are their best, but they want to get it right. Matherin, downhill to the basket. Put it in, Benedict Matherin. They hit a three at the end of the half. Kamara, now Henderson. Inside the arc, will put it up and bank it in. Henderson, pull up jumper. Rebound tipped out, will be in the hands of Henderson. That was Mitchell. Walker that kept it alive. Somebody's got to go get the ball. Yeah, that was some, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Count the basket and a foul. Well, that was a good decision to get the clip and take it. Off the glass, Nimhard, his second field goal, Pacers in front. Yeah, this is an interesting game, Quinn, because this is far different than most of the games the Pacers have played this year as far as most of the games are high-scoring games that become a shootout. This Nemhard, pull-up jumper, good. You see his brother play for Gonzaga? Yeah. Another Pacers turnover. Did they give it back? Yeah, they gave it back, Chris. Neesmith, count it! Expect when when you look at Portland shooting 35% in the second half, you think the Pacers should have a big lead. No question. With as good as their offense has been all year long, Grant has 27. And then the Pacers turn it over. Here comes Sharp. And it's a five-point Portland lead. And this guy's been a problem, Grant. Still is. Still is. <laughs> Burton hit the three to tight it at 92. Right hand to get to that right hand. Off the nice glass. Move. Hook up there. Just get into him to stay there. And Miles. And Grant hits a tough three. Really tough three because it got challenged. Now pop to the back. Turn to the screen. Free throw line jumper. Nemhard. He's got eight. Lee Smith, 4-3. Yes! You can see it line up coming out of his hand. Eight in the screen. Grant inside scores. 34 for Jeremy Grant. He has covered some territory. Oh, yeah. Somebody, there you go. Halliburton. Up and under. Yeah, the important thing, he took very little time. They have 78 of their 112. Taken by Turner. Halliburton to Brown. It's a two-point game. That's a good saying. You've got plenty of time. Pacers have two timeouts. Brogdon against his former team. Gets inside and got the basket. Boy, this will be another disappointing home loss for yes, Indiana. Yes, it will. This will be their third loss inside five points. And those 